after a day's sequence of talks and lecture it would be very fitting to unwind with music to soothe us and the classical repertoire of indian music comes in handy for the occasion we have hindustani flute by highly accomplished shri pandit ronu majumdar ji accompanied by shri rishikesh majumdar ji and shri ajit patak ji thanks to speak my league team with their incredible determination to promote indian art and support the artists reached out to coordinate this event on this special day let's take a walk down the memory lane ccmb was set up initially as a semi autonomous center on april 1st 1977 and then was the regional research laboratory which is presently iict and dr bhargava heading the new center ccmb moved to its present campus on november 26 1987 on that day then prime minister of india shri rajiv gandhi dedicated ccmb to the cause of science and to the service of nation in the presence of about 3000 guests from india and 12 other countries the occasion marked a week long scientific meeting on frontiers of biology and another week long meeting on state of art in biology during the first meeting one full day was devoted to the symposium on art and science the first of its kind in the country ccmb hyderabad is a trend setter the celebrations brought together over 100 of world's best known biologists representing a vast array of disciplines included four nobel laureates many fellows of royal society of london members of national academy of Sci- sciences of united states academicians of the former soviet academy of sciences and members of french academy of sciences the one day symposium on art and science had some of the india's most reputed painters dancers film producers writers and art critics others who were present at the inauguration included shri rajiv gandhi the minister for science and technology the governor of and the chief minister of andhra pradesh many members of parliament many heads of scientific organizations including the chairman atomic energy commission and the former Ch- chairman space commission and the ambassadors of germany china soviet union and britain the ccmb has one of the best art galleries in the country and one of the most distinguished indian painters as its artist in residence mr leon the picasso of china has been also the artist in residence for a month of ccmb i want to share about an interesting book that is written by dr p m bhargava founder ccmb along with mrs chandana chakrabarti two phases of beauty the science and art is based on eight thesis with observations and insights gathered over many decades of involvement with science and art so this evidence is drawn from mathematics physics biology and also from music fine art and design it actually presents interesting illustrations and examples with the unique relationships between art and nature from the natural phenomenon like spiral galaxies to the fractal in lighting and spider webs to fibonacci series of numbers there's so much to learn and think about with fascinating insights and ideas thrown in there is actually so much art in science and science in art after all creativity stems from the same motivation dr bhargava shared his opinion about 90% well known scientists could have won nobel prize in some art form totally different from the expert of their subjects citing some examples nuclear scientist dr raja ramanna was a concert level pianist dr homi baba was a painter 
Pandit Ravi Shankar Ji once visited CCMB and having spent some time shared that his performance was influenced by the visit the next day. MF Hussein Ji had once visited and said that scientists understood him the best. So there is a way of understanding and celebrating their commonalities wherein people understand both science and art and appreciate both. So over the past three decades, the Foundation Day evenings were celebrated with cultural events, with renowned classical musicians and dancers that enthralled the audience. And now, for today's evening program, sit back and say with the sheer joy of the traditional Indian music, over to Aditi, she will introduce the artist on dais. Thank you. Thank you, Lakshmi. It is indeed an honor to share this stage today and introduce our guests of the evening. To begin with, we have with us Pandit Sri Ranindra Bhanu Majumadar Ji. Admiringly known as Ronu Majumadar, he was born in 1963 in Varanasi, the most sacred place for music and spirituality. He began playing the flute under the guidance of his father, Dr. Bhanu Majumdar, and then late Pandit Lakshman Prashad Jaipurwale, and finally the revered Pandit Vijay Raghav Rao. He was also fortunate to receive training from his grand guru, Pandit Ravi Shankarji. A powerhouse performer and a synonym to Basuri, he has been felicitated with many renowned awards over the years. Just to name a few, All India Radio Award was his first recognition. Aditya Vikram Birla Award in the year 1999, Sangeet Natak Academy Award 2014, and Lifetime Achievement Award by Navbharat Times, National Kumar Gandharva Award in the year 2006, and Pandit Jasraj Gaurav Purushkar in the year 2008 are some of the many honors conferred upon him. Ronuji, we indeed feel blessed to have you here with us today. I welcome Sri Rishikesh Majumdarji. He is a very talented upcoming flute artist, born and brought up in a beautiful musical family. He has excelled in the nuances of music from his father and guru, Pandit Ronu Majumdarji, since his childhood and has also taken vocal training from his mother, Sangeeta Majumdarji. He has taken talim on tabla under the guidance of Sri Ajit Pathak as well. Apart from classical skills, he has worked and composed music along with piano for a titanic Indian version project. He won the first prize in Swar Sadhana Samiti's competition for flute recital and presents the Maihar Gharana style like his father. He performs in Dhrupad style Alab, Jorj Hala, Ghatkari style and is equally skilled in Thumri, Dadra and folk music. We feel privileged to welcome you today. With the foremost feel of prestige, I welcome Sri Ajit Pathakji to our campus today. You are an eminent tabla player of our nation who began his training under his father Sri Dev Chandra Pathakji at a very tender age of six. Thereafter, he had the privilege of learning under the guidance of tabla mastros Pandit Kishan Maharaj Padma Vibhushan Awardee and Ustad Sabir Khanji. Ajit has been featured as a regular classical musician on All India Radio and has performed extensively in India, Europe, Middle East, USA and many more. He has been awarded Tal Mani from Shur Shingar, Mumbai, HMV Award and Tal Ratan from Los Angeles, USA. It's an honor to have you with us today. Now, I request the audience... Yes, so I was about to say the same. Well, cheers to the wonderful evening ahead. I also request the audience to please switch off your respective mobile phones or turn on the silent mode so as to avoid any disturbances hindering the sanctity of the event. Over you, sir. 
Thank you. Thank you so much. Good evening. Namaskar to all of you. Thank you, Aditi, for introducing us in such a good manner. Who doesn't like to be introduced like this? <laughs> um, before that, uh, our dear sister said very nicely and very true. I was just thinking, uh, scientists and uh, musicians have one thing in very common, that is creativity. We also try to paint in the shunya, you know, just take a rag with a scale and try to improvise. And another thing that we try always to find new possibilities with nothing in our hand, nothing in the mind, just zero. And we try to come up with some very good structured format of alap or total package or bandish or improvisation of mathematic and uh, very strange, uh, maybe little uh, new thing I must tell you that certain calculations are not possible in mathematic but it is possible in the uh, music in a way in a way that we take the idea from mathematic only three into one one into three and four and a half into one or things like that the complex rhythm uh, rhythmic combinations um, mostly very uh, perfections uh, has been experienced in the Carnatic music uh, of the rhythmic uh, variations that has to be accepted with wholeheartedly with all the musicians and uh, so we have a jati system khanda jati tishra jati all this jati and when we try those uh, sutras those methods we come up with these ideas like i was just now was fascinated how did i try to um, five in seven this is one rhythmic variation which is very difficult, but I found it not with the mathematical calculation, but with the Jati system. So that was amazing. So before I begin, I want to thank a few very important names. Uh, first of all, Speak Mackey, Society for uh, Promotion of Indian Classical Music and Culture Amongst Youth, because it's a very non-profit organization, and uh, I have been involved uh, since last more than 40 years with it. And the uh, first series was, of course, Prayas in Mumbai. So, DG of CSIR, Dr. Shekharji, thank you for everything, inviting us. And uh, Dr. Vinayji, Director of CCMB, um, thank you so much for making it possible. And uh, whatever online, <laughs> and other things and you know Facebook concerts we do or we, I did for HCL and then IIM uh, Kozikor we both did along with my son Rishikesh but nothing like interacting like this nothing can replace this in no way the live interaction and the wonderful coordination Dr. Som Dattaji uh, Karak and uh, the whole team basically if I miss some name please pardon me and forgive me and uh, so we have a time conception behind the formation of the raga, which is again a little scientific uh, because uh, of our human emotions do affect us, do inspire us, whether we create music or we create some gadget or something in the science. And those are time bound. In a sense that we have different emotions in the different time zone of the day and sometimes in the twilight mood we be intend to become little sad and maybe little heavy heart due to no reason and those time zone have different ragas and they, those ragas help you to relieve your stress and again be light and very very uh, you know ready to face other uh, upcoming challenges so I have chosen a rag just now um, known as rag Puriya. This raga is very similar to rag Marwa and rag Sohini. And little differences are there but the same male karta. And equivalent of rag Hansanandi in Karnatic system. 
So this is very popular in both the system. So uh, as been announced that we follow the Mayar Gharana of Pandit Ravi Shankarji, Bharat Ratna, and uh, Ali Ubar Khan Sahib, the Swar Samrat. So we will play the Alap Jod Jhala, which is equivalent of Ragan Tanam Pallavi. And uh, then composition set into Rupaktal and Teen Tal. And the Alap is a stress reliever process because it doesn't have any rhythmic cycle. It is just an open sky and just paint in your thoughts and just try to relax, close your eyes or maybe just can meditate a little bit and then slowly, gradually the energy will increase and the build-up will reach to the ultimate happiness. Thank you so much.
रूपक ताल सेवन बीट सर्कल सर्कल as i was inspired in the beginning uh, explanations i will try today uh, five in seven in between somewhere i'll just let you know when i'm doing i'll try to do perfect as much as i can the hint is that it goes to 35 but to bring it in one circle is difficult but there is a way to do it Five in one. And then, 
the actual thing starts. I'll try. I'll try. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Every beat I will bring five. five. Perfect. Perfect.
beautiful rendition of Ajit Solo. We'll go to Tintal and the common tempo, 4444, 16 beats. Equivalent of Adi Tara.
a long time. This is an interesting, interesting section. section. Improvisation, of course.
truly we are blessed to interact with you uh, this evening and uh, full of happiness and uh, positivity of course and we are going towards betterment of our life through music through science through creativity through new ideas and new hopes 100% and uh, so with this beautiful atmosphere we are kind of charged up eh? and played a little bit more than the time given I know the time is running off and uh, if you just could give me four and a half minute less than five minute then we can finish up with the light dhun of Bhati Ali the Bengal folk which he has learned from his grandfather my father and because he was very good at Bhati Ali probably ten times better than me so can we play that very quick real quick thank you so much You can give him a little delay just for this book. Yeah. To give that boat to Manji. Yeah. Oh, thanks so much, Sundarpaji. This is uh, my father's composition. Kotta Yama Do Iyaz Abhi Shawar Rakhai Dei. It's a funny song though, but very uh, mischievous song. folk music of Bengal, but uh, Sachin Dev Burman made it popular all around the world through his beautiful film music of uh, As It Una Dekho and many, many songs. And uh, of course, Sujata, Bandini. So you will enjoy it, I'm sure. I'm sure.
Thanks a lot for all the love and affection, appreciation. I thank the whole team and uh, Director Saab and everyone, Somji, Shekhar ji, and everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Ajit Bhai. Kya baja hai hai aaj? That was a scintillating recital. Can I request all for a standing ovation to the artists? The ragas bring nature to this auditorium on this special evening. Beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze as the stars in the sky. It is the feel of the sea and the sky, flora and fauna, and the vastness of the nature creativity. That's the feeling of these ragas for this evening. We are very grateful to you for performing on this special day, Foundation Day, Sri Pandit Ronu Majumdar Ji, Sri Rishikesh Majumdar Ji, and Sri Ajit Patak Ji. I request the artists to be seated on the dais with kind permission from artists on the dais and Spick McKay team. Can I have a few questions from the audience for the artists? It was a wonderful performance. Yeah, Shravanti is there. Shravanti is there, yes. It was a wonderful performance and uh, thank you so much. We were, I think, deeply in meditation while you were performing. So I have a very naive question, maybe that's very basic for you. Where do you see the merger of Carnatic and Hindustani? 
we see that as slightly different schools of music, but how do you see and where do you see they kind of merge? I see the merge very much. Sorry, I cut off the reverb. So, I see the common path, uh, common thought and common uh, developing process of the imp improvisation, especially in the alap, the ragam. Uh, ragam is equivalent of alap, which is uh, not uh, framed or, you know, bandhan kind of thing in any rhythm form. Elaboration of raga, we call it uh, uh, Rudari and Carnatic music says Manudharma. So Manudharma, when they do the Manudharma Jeev Swaras, that is where we do the Andolan and Vadi Sambadi and these, these things. That is where we see the common, we just understand that time. Okay, so Indolam is just the name and Malkons is just the name, but they just, I used to perform with Balmurli Appa sir and he used to treat me like his son. So one day he said very nice thing, he said Samaja Varagamana. He's a very famous Kriti in uh, Hindolam. So he said uh, just play your Malkons and it is the same. It is just a way of painting. It is definitely, Tala system is also Khandam, everything is same. But just the expression of different state gives them a different color. And when you try to merge with an open mind, you just see, okay, we have a common path. Let's walk together. And we really, nowadays, with this globalization and more and more and more and Jugal Bandis, we are learning more and tabla players are also learning more of uh, Narais and Mutaipus and uh, Korvais and things like that, which is exchange of the culture. I would not say culture because we are same. Uh, I would say ideas. So it, uh, it starts with the ragam. That's 100%. Alap. Pandiji, please tell us about the, the different kinds of flutes that you played today and what you use for which type of composition? Superb. So, as you know, folk is, uh, flute is basically a folk and pastoral instrument, and it was not played in the classical. Uh, in South, uh, T.R. Mahalingam uh, is responsible of popular, it, it was played before Mahalingam, sir, but uh, Mahalingam made it household name, and our, our culture, late Pandit Panalal Ghosh. So, Pannababu uh, made this big flute, otherwise, this folk music, this E or say D, uh, if you put in a musical notes which has been structured uh, by a mankind. Otherwise, folk music, there was no Sa concept. Anything can be Sa. Saregama can start from anywhere. So, and uh, now even the Carnatic musicians are following my Shankh Vansuri. This is a bit of, little bit of, I will not say creation from me, I will say search. Because Panababu has already started everything. He was God of Bansuri in a way that he introduced this into classical music. He made it already in the four hole. I just completed the unfinished uh, work of him because he died very young. Uh, he died in 1960 and I was born in 63. So I thought of making this Bansuri and named it Shankar Bansuri. So this is for low. This is A, as you asked very rightly. And the common scale was E, which was moving around. And whenever we are making panchama as sa, then we take the A flute. So on A flute, when you say the panchama, pancham swara, that is becomes E in a scale change system. Murchana um, Ved. Such a beautiful questions are coming, and um, that's the fun of a speak maker. I might get flagged for asking such a question. Since you are uh, part of Spick Mackey, uh, how do you inspire the current generation youth to find the novelty in art, music or otherwise, in the world of bakchis and kakkas who masquerade as artists? Actually, your question is very nice. If you see, you are right. Um, Whatever culture may be imposed on us or maybe it is there because it's, everything is online, everything is available all the time, it's up to you. 
what to ignore and what to accept and what to embrace you know um it is speak make is a very good platform for us 100% because we can reach the students other concerts what happens uh, mature people are there we just it's commercial concert we are paid handsomely and because we made some name over the years and those things are okay but this speak make orientations or uh, our uh, we also do workshop sometimes in a residency format so it gives us a sense of achievement and we when it was more for a very dignified situation today and uh, more for intellectuals i would say otherwise when we go to the primary schools we start with leg them not straight away play that time we explain kids or you know fourth standard fifth standard sixth standard students the importance of their own heritage and make them sing with us make them play and uh, then i tell them that my young son my elder son is a dentist bds and he has taken this as his life so i just he when he travels with me it gives them motivation that every 20 years old boy is deciding to take a music as his career why not there must be something in the indian music there must be something which uh, inspired the beatles the most famous pop group ever born in this planet they were disciple of pandit ravi shankar bharat ratna in the beginning only she announced and ravi shankar ji came here how nice my guru ji my grand guru so they thought that the peace is only possible soul searching through this beautiful meditative indian music be it north indian classical music or carnatic it is indian music and the alapama alapana is definitely a soul searching process that's why you will never see people clap in the alap section they will just forget themselves and feel light after the concert it is not just the entertainment it is a soul feeding music it is not rock music it doesn't create noise at times we go in the sound variations but as a requirement of the music not that we try to impress people with some gadgets and some extra noise or some cracky sound or some other things no so obviously many students who have attended my concert like 35 years back and now they are on a huge big post in hcl and other big companies they say pandi ji you changed our life we listen to after the whole stressful meetings and everything we listen to bhimsen joshi salap dagar sab drupad alap drupad is very much like carnatic music i was just talking because it has the ragam tanam same format that's why you will see gunde cha bandhu doing jugal bandhi with maladi brothers so i was just going back uh, thousands of years back our ancient format so that ancient this is your bank balance you can accept you can learn others culture why not embrace them but it is not good to forget your own identity that's my bottom line hi this hi. um this is this question is to rishikesh in fact yeah but you kind of answered my question a little bit in advance i was actually observing him and he was totally in awe of you right so the way that you were leading and i'm pretty sure that he must have been traveling with you and this is certainly not probably the 10th or maybe 50th time or something yeah. so uh, you kind of said that he decided to follow your footsteps or follow the music whatever it is and of course he he is a privilege because he is certainly with you now but my question to you was in in uh, to 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 rishikesh what did you find in uh you know in music that you wanted to follow this you know you, certainly you have been around his, your dad and your grandfather you know in the, in that in that culture but there must be something that you decided that okay i'm not going to follow the rest of the things but i'm going to follow this so firstly 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 <laughs> <laughs> yes so 
uh, I was I was uh, privileged to be in a musical family, and uh, from my birth I was in a musical environment, listening to music, different kinds of music, seeing different artists, listening to different music. Uh, but as you say that I have chosen music as a career, and why I have chosen music as a career, so I can say that it came from within that I want to do music. Music is best for me, and. Uh, Nothing can be better than music because it's the best thing you can do uh, because it is like it is like enjoying 24 hours. 24 hours you are enjoying and feeling the music and you are just relaxed, no stress. So that's why it came from within and uh, just yeah. Yes, yes. Hello. Um, so this is kind of a follow-up to Krishna's question. Um, so everybody, in some sense or the other, is competing against time. And I see a lot of examples, Rishikesh and Ajit ji, both in front of me, have learned from their fathers. And so people who are born in family where music is a tradition definitely have an advantage. And definitely. then people who come from an outside family. I just want to understand how do they stand in this a fairly closely knit circle of people, I feel. So do you think that outsiders can also gain access to it easily? Probably not easily, I don't think so. But, but then what kinds of things do they need to do to gain access into this circle? Very good question. It tells my story. It really tells because my father was a medical doctor and he played flute so I never got this advantage of learning from father. Of course my father taught me a little bit because he was not a full time. And he said, whatever I knew I taught you so now I have to take you to some guru. So I went to Vijay Raghav Rao Ji, all these names you heard. And he got everything from me. So the different advantage of different eras. I'll tell you, when you struggle more, you have more fire. That is where I am sometimes scared that if things come easily, you don't know the value of it. So I value it so much and I keep telling him that it is a very difficult and you are so privileged that you are getting from me. Think that if you had to go to outside and other gurus and stay with them and work for them whole day like a servant, which I did. And uh, it is... Uh, it's a different art form. It is very much like science. Because you have to find your own ways. After getting the knowledge, you try to find things within the given knowledge. That's what I think all the big scientists did and even the students are trying to find something new. Something after. So, uh, for outsiders it's not easy. As you said very rightly who are not coming from the musical family and I had to struggle a lot even because there was nobody to even take my name and suggest my name to somewhere. So uh, in my documentary which Films Division has made on me called Bansuriwala, it tells a little bit of a story of my life, how I struggled because uh, pastly it was spoken so much about nepotism after Sushant Singh Rajput and things like that. Um, nepotism is considered is a family tradition and Gharanedar parampara in our classical music. It's not uh, taken as very badly. In that case, even Zakir Hussain is Nepo kids. So, but it's not, uh, but, but he's representing the Punjab Gharana. So, that Gharana has to be there. Otherwise, Guru Parampara, how will we continue? So, I was not from Guru Parampara, but I joined the Guru Parampara to learn the Mayar Gharana legacy. Like Pandit Ravi Shankar ji, Bharat Ratna was not from privileged family, but he became Bharat Ratna. And Ali Akbar Khan sahab was the so-called Gharanedar, coming from Gharana. So, people who want to do this, find their ways. And they are, they have more fire actually. <laughs> so, um, it is unfortunately, or fortunately, this art form, the nuances of music cannot be learned in school colleges 
its school colleges can give you some percentage the the curriculum which we have call uh, visharat post visharat but that those things can make you good music teacher but not performer so guru shishya parampara has to be followed and has to be learned in that format only because the little little as i said rudari atma has to be learned from guru in guru mukh vidya one to one learning even four people are learning together guru can find oh that place was not played correct that phrase was not played correct so these things are difficult as you said but at the same time whoever want to learn find the hard path and do not worry about the future and about the securities of financial thing and they some of them struggle so hard and then make their name mostly they made bigger name than even kandani people so uh, here so you uh, mentioned about this financial security in that connection i was about to ask you this question what do you see in india bengal when there are so much of lucrative options available nowadays to ensure this financial security for example in case of fundamental science very few very few choose fundamental science as a profession uh, this kind of meditation through the life right is a journey so how many of this young generation he is a fantastic example i am very happy in bengal in india what do you find the future of classical music future is very nice um i again will say that uh, um frankly speaking little bit of more uh previous uh era had the uh, patronization of uh, maharajas for the music and uh, fine art basically not only music any fine art because uh, it was not commercial so nowadays our maharajas are our um big companies they should come forward and patronize little more i mean so young generation is coming up i mean coming how up. do you find i mean your students and similarly uh, uh, in bengal especially it's uh, i live in mumbai but bengal i never lived there but i know the situation because i go quite often to perform and i see a lot of younger generation are jumping into it without thinking the financial securities of uh, the field because the field of course as you know big conferences and big they always go for bigger names but that doesn't mean there are not platform i want to take one name who has created platform for younger musicians tejendra narayan mojumdar he has this festival which i played just before the pandemic started swar samrat festival in um, nazrul manch and he has a special 2 3 days just for younger generation where abhishek lahiri and their super talented musicians played and their playing is fabulous and they are the bright future of music and same thing i see in pune these are two very big hub of north indian music pune and kolkata and uh, south you forget they will do definitely music whether they get food or not it's a, it's a food of life for them i have seen just the my younger brother like mesur manjunath he recently played for sat sai baba's 96 birthday celebration in bangalore bangalore and uh, this son is playing he is there just one year elder to him sumanta manjunath so they don't think of result they say this is our moral duty to keep this art form alive this culture this legacy of my grandfather mahadev appa or somebody or thakur ma thakur dada has to be taken forward come what may be they don't think anything i mean shiv kumar sharma ji once said aag ka darya hai isme kudte jana hai chahe jo bhi ho jaye hame to gana bajana karna hai पंडित जी 
Here. Yes. Okay. This side. That's it. That's it. This side. This side. This side, this side. Ha, ha. Uh, uh, namaskar. Ha. Namaskar. For that beautiful evening. Uh, my question is that this Vatiya League that you played at the last, do, uh, with the advancement of time, this boatmen, they are not that much, or at, at least a lot of transformation has happened to them. So what, where do, what do you see the future of this Vatiya League song? Folk song at least is being carried out by some of the people. But at least this Vati Ali, the song of the fisherman, where do you see the future of it after 50 years, let's say? From I say that the basic of even Robindra Sangeet, I made an album, even I am a Pravasi Bangali, but I am deep into Bengali culture. So I made an album called Timeless Tagore, part one and part two. Both were super hit. Because I have, the song I did choose, I played with a lot of bhakti and a uh, lot of devotion. So, in, uh, I was asked this question, what is Ravindra Sangeet? What kind of music uh, Ravindra Tagore has used in, in his compositions? I see Polligiti, I see Western music, I see Bhatiali, I see Kirtoni, every color in his music. So this is not going to die. Otherwise, uh, Barmanda songs would not have been super hit. So whether they are boatmans or not, but their songs are going to be immortal because they touch the heart. And even inside of the auditorium, you feel like you are in a river, you are going with a boatman song in the old kind of, not the modern boat. But <laughs> Manji, Manji is a naya chalane wala, Manji. So, uh, this dhun is, is comes from the nature, it's not the man-made. See the Polligiti, Sadher Lao, Vanai Lo More Bhai Raage Ho Sadher Lao. So, who will beat this? This is already has some dancing daffodils, you know. It's nothing can beat this. There will be film songs made on this. There will be something because it's in our blood. It is not a man-made composition. It is a nature-made. Another thing is that, do you think, as a, as a government scale, at least Bangladesh government tries to preserve their culture from, from every aspect. Let's say it's music, let's say they're, it's their muslin or whatever you say. They, they try to preserve their cultural heritage more than our Indian government. Do you think at any scale? <laughs> well, or, that's or, a political or, or question. Or it's their language or <laughs> whatever it is. They're proud to <laughs> Very much show whatever they do. No, I, uh, <laughs> see, I played in the Dhaka festival three times. Okay. First time I played with Balmurli sir and 35,000 people were there. Because they were cut off from the culture. So, do you, when you don't get food, you eat quickly, quickly. Eat. <laughs> So uh, I think Dhaka mein khana mili nahi raha tha, to jaldi kha rahe the. Aisa nahi hai. Here the culture was available all the time. So we, we taken it little lightly. But Dhaka what happened, the, there was nothing happening last 50, 70 years. Nothing. So people were hungry for music. So that's why this Dhaka festival had 35,000 people. One people said this is the biggest festival in the world. India doesn't have so much of audience. I said, no, 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 no. It's the wrong way of put, you are putting it up. Because there were no festival happening. So suddenly Pandit Kumar Bose, Pandit Anindo Chatterjee, Ronu Majumdar, all these people are ar arrived in Dhaka. So it's a big audience. In Bangalore, Bali, one kide chilo se jone khawar beshi bhalo lagche. It's it's all the same. Humans love music. And I cannot compare because it's our culture is same. Borders cannot divide our souls. And uh, our Atma is same. My father was from Faridpur. Oh. So it's the same thing. Otherwise, I was born in Varanasi. I was more of UP height. How could I play this pure form of Bhati Ali? Because of my, my father, who represented the culture of Faridpur, now in Bangladesh. So... This is very deep into our blood and our DNA. Thank you. Thank you very much. I have, I have a question. Yeah, yeah. What advice would you give to young musicians or beginners? I would say, don't try to just get success overnight. Don't work for results. Work for the subject. Please, the subject will help you to sustain for whole life. After I came to this field, how many flute players must have come? But my place was secure. I never felt insecurity. Because Ronu Majumdar will be Ronu Majumdar. 
if I keep growing in the subject, keep doing something new, something different, which youngsters can follow. Be an example. Thank you. You will always win. And okay. I have one question for Ajit ji. What is a typical uh, Riyaz uh, daily routine for you? <laughs> Great. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I have a question. A dangerous guy. <laughs> Apart from brilliance. Doctor, I want to say something, please. I have a question. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was wondering, like, this is an extension of Krishna's at a later point of time, Somdata's question. Uh -huh. In India, do we have structured musical schools, the ones similar to, say, New York School of uh, Fine Arts? You know, do you see that kind of a thing would help? The, you know, we were talking about Garanes versus the outsiders having an entry which will be a little more difficult. Having a, uh, having a school, having something equivalent to that, would that change? Ah, very nice. To, to, uh, to answer your question only Bhat Khande, and they formed this before we got freedom, in first uh, Gandhar Mahavidyala in Karachi. So, because his intention was the same, as you said very rightly, to structure, to bring into curriculum, bring into syllabus. So, that's why this Madhyama, first year, second year, and Prarambhik, and then uh, Prarambhik, uh, Praveshika Purna, and all this year by curriculum has been structured by Vishnu Narayan Bhatkhande and Vishnu Digambar Paluskar, who were uh, visually challenged. So, what happens is still we are struggling because it is a solo expression and western music is orchestral expressions and mostly western classical music is a written music so there is no notation in front of me and I am playing for hours and overnight I can play because everything is manodharma the difference that's why there are not great schools of jazz music because jazz music is also improvised music because can I play a little bit I have learned jazz and western classical also. Getting the reverb? No. From there, something must have happened. Have you muted? No. That is not true. That is not true. That is not true. Uh, cut off the uh, yeah. Cut off the uh, yeah. Delay? I have a delay zero. Well, it's okay. There are harmonies in uh, Western classical music and jazz also. But what happens in jazz, they improvise. Like... classical. How soulful. E major. B7. Recently I recorded, just take the A flute. Ta -da -da. Uh, uh, so flute symphony tribute to Mozart. One section was, George Brooks said that was the famous, famous uh, uh, um, um, saxophonist and soprano player from San Francisco, he said, this is one of the best section I ever heard, I composed, I tried. Western classical format. Da, 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 da. One, two, three, four.
Thank you. Well, Pandiji, I have a question over here. Yeah, I did struggle for it. <laughs> so my question is, uh, like, how do you live up to your expectation as a performer? Because uh, everyone is a performer in their own way. And uh, being a performer, uh, how do you live up to your expectation? And uh, when not, how do you process it to lift up yourself? And uh, uh, when you both are there in one family and somebody will be struggling in some sort, how do you lift up and how do, does that process begin? Uh, I never struggled for any such situation. This is just a try day to day. Day to day. Everyone has different uh, grasping power. Everyone has different quality. We don't try to gauge something. It's all just love affair with the subject. It never is so complicated. It is simple. Just love the subject and never be stressful for your performance. Be light. And we have a saying, Ki bhai, I had a, um, my, um, I have my senior guru, bhai Tarun Bhattacharya from Kolkata. He always says very big thing. He said, stage ke ghar bali karo in Bengali. Means, make the stage as your home. Uh, it's so big thing. If you can make the stage like your home, you won't be stressful. I was playing at my home. Uh, in the beginning, it was not possible. And uh, I teach him the same. And he has to find his own way. He has to, he found his own way. And everyone has their own faith, a belief. You can only help. There is a saying, Guru never teaches. Shishya learns it. How can a Guru teach? <laughs> Your qualities, can you transform, transform into others? You can never. Shishya seekh leta hai, Guru nahi sikhata. Extremely thankful for giving us this opportunity to talk to you about your music, career, profession. Now we come to felicitation for artist on stage. I request director Dr. Vinay Nandikuri, Dr. Manjula Reddy, and Dr. Chandak to grace the dais, please. Dr. Chandak is not there. Okay, thank you. I request Dr. Vinay Nandikuri to felicitate Sri Pandit Ronu Majumdar Ji in acknowledgement of superlative performance to present a bouquet and a memento. I request I request Dr. Manjula Reddy to present a bouquet and a moment to Sri Rishikesh Bajumdarji. request Dr. Vinay to present a bouquet and memento Sri Ajit Patek Ji.
once again i request all for a huge round of applause for this enthralling performance Lastly for the words of thanks before concluding this program we thank shri pandit ronu majumdar ji shri rishikesh majumdar ji shri ajit pathak ji made us a very special evening for all of us today a very special thanks to spikmake team lakshmi pancham and krishna for helping in coordination of this program and i thank somdita aditi venkat staff from instrumentation lts security one and all from all sections coordinating today's cultural event wishing all a great evening i request all to please join for dinner at the venues group photograph on the stage guest house lounge and east wing parking area stage mein photograph anybody wants to take a photograph please come so if any anyone would like to have photograph with the artist you can come over on the dais क्या